Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another Atrix tutorial, this time bypassing the SIM card screen and Moto Blur activation screens. Okay, so you know if you have an Atrix that you're familiar with these screens that require SIM cards and your Moto Blur registration information to even get into the phone, after you flash firmware or after you've removed a SIM card from the Atrix, it'll actually go in and ask you to re-log um, in with your Moto Blur account. It's really annoying and uh, sometimes, let's be honest, who actually uses that Moto Blur account? We forget our passwords and it's just a big annoyance. However, you can bypass this. First step, power off the phone. I was touching the screen up here. I think I was interfering with that. Once the phone's powered off, we want to enter a cold boot state. Hold volume down. Hold power while you hold volume down. Until you see white text at the top of the screen, it will say fast boot. Then use the volume down toggles until you see boot Android no BP. Press volume up to select. It's going to cold boot Linux, and the phone will boot back up. I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment when it's booted back into the operating system. Okay, here we are. It has already bypassed the SIM card screen. Now we're at the Moto Blur activation screen. We need to bring up our virtual keyboard, so hold the menu button. Now you'll need to enter this key combination. Press the question mark one, two, three, followed by alt, followed by ABC, followed by E. Then you'll repeat it, so that's question mark, alt, A, B, C, E. Now type blur off, that's B, L, U, R, O, F, F. In a moment, there it goes. It bypasses the screen completely, and we will be into the Android experience here in just a moment. Now this will resume itself until you have flashed a different firmware, you'll need to redo the process, but uh, at this point, it, as long as you have the phone and haven't flashed a different firmware, it will continue to never bug you about Moto Blur activation. So that's how to bypass your Moto Blur activation and SIM card activation screens. Brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. Be sure to bookmark us at MobileTechVideos.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And uh, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. We put out lots of great content for tons of devices, including the Atrix. And we'd love to have you as a subscriber and a viewer. So... In the meantime, I'll catch you guys on the next video.